had a girl tell me one time, she's like, I love the taste of your sperm. And I was like, that's hot. Then I'm like, why is she an expert on the taste of sperm? <laughs> she's a fucking commissar. <laughs> you ever go down on a girl, you think you're making her really wet, turns out you have rhinos? <laughs> Thank you, I love you. I feel like you're like the kid from Superbad, fucking back of the day. <laughs> And you're next to Little Wayne's little brother. How's it going? <laughs> These two hot chicks. How's it going? This beautiful black girl. How are you? Is this your friend? You guys, you guys, lesbians or? That's what I. You're saying no. You're saying yes. Keep drinking. See what happens. I'm coming out the dating app for lesbians called Clam Swipe. <laughs> Thank you. These jokes are not for everybody. Okay. But you kids, my daughter loves watching videos of other kids opening presents. But I'm like, she's not getting the present. She's asking someone else enjoy something. But then I'm like, well, that's why I watch porn. Ah. <laughs> you young kids, you don't know, you know how lucky you are with your porn. When I was a kid, if I wanted to see a naked girl, I had to go to my parents' National Geographic magazines and look up naked women in Africa with their boobs hanging out. And now every time I hear The Lion King, I get a boner. Thank you. Me and the DJ and fucking the guy with the creepy mustache are fucking having a good time. I like Josh and I like the black Waldo. How's it going, sir? Nice to see you. It's like, where's Waldo? Not paying child support. Okay, anyway. I'm kidding. He seemed like a nice guy. Okay. Anybody here like watching porn? Show of hands, anybody like watching porn? Be honest, be honest. What's up, bro? What's your, what's your favorite category? What's your favorite category you like to watch? Ebony, this motherfucker right here. Hey, that's a good answer though. Hey, you know, you know, you know a motherfucker really watch porn when he answer Ebony. Cause he could easily say black chicks, but he said Ebony. That motherfucker said the category. I appreciate that. I got five sisters. I I'll introduce you to one of them. All right, what about you back there with the green hat, bro? You raised your hand, bro. What's your favorite? What's your favorite porn? That motherfucker said amateur porn. Hey, but he answered like he was on Jeopardy. Amateur porn for two hundred dollars. Like he was ready for that answer. I like amateur porn too, bro. I like, I don't want to see porn stars. I want to see regular motherfuckers out of shape like yourself, just fucking and shit. Like, I, this is how you know it's amateur. This is how you know it's amateur. They're in the crib and you can tell it's their crib because it's messy. You see dishes in the sink. You see all kinds of shit on the floor. This is how you know it's really amateur. They're on the couch having sex and out of nowhere, you see a golden retriever walk by the camera. I was like, they got a fucking dog in the shot. That's. That's that real amateur shit. They couldn't tie the dog down? Hell yeah. What about you, bro? What's your favorite porn, dog? Oh, this motherfucker right here. He said, ask anybody that know me, I don't like strip clubs and I don't like porn. He had a baby by a stripper, y'all. That's why he mad. <laughs> this motherfucker traumatized. I don't believe anybody that say they don't watch porn. My pastor said that shit. I was like, yeah, whatever, nigga. You lying. <laughs> Everybody watch porn. I feel very comfortable around white people, actually, because I grew up in Orange County, so I feel safe. When I see a white family, I, I feel like home. It feels like home. But it was weird. Like, do you guys remember? I grew up in Orange County, but, like, we all went through this emo punk hot topic phase. You know, the grunge... So everyone had side bangs for two years. It didn't make sense to me because I grew up in a nice neighborhood in Orange County. So I'd always see a car full of bros driving around singing like, cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. But they were all like sipping on a Jamba Juice <laughs> and pulling into a gated community. I'm like, relax, Brendan. You're, not, you're fine. You're not a tortured soul. You, you're drinking a razzmatazz on a sunny day. You're gonna be fine. Uh, that man might be dead if you guys wanna just... 
Does everyone want to look to the right and left and like check your neighbor's pulse? Check your neighbor's pulse real quick. Also, also, what if he was dead? What if he really was dead? And this went viral. This clip went fucking viral because we all laughed at a dead man. Jonesy, don't publish that. Don't publish that. I work in HR. This could be the end of my life. This could be the end of it all. I can see the stomach. Stomach is moving? Okay. It's moving. Sir, sir, next to him, and then do you wanna like rub his belly for us? All right, all right. It's on your hands. If he's not okay, you gotta live with that. You need to go to bed with that. Yeah, no, he probably had a long day. He probably had a long day. So. There's some women here. Who, are there women here in their 30s? Yes. We're confident, but we're sleepy. We're confident, but it's our bedtime right now. We're excited, but we kind of want to go home right now. If you could look away, I hate your eyes. Oh my God, who here's from LA proper? Who's from LA proper? Let me ask you, the, the people that yell, be honest, have you ever been downtown LA where the high rises are? Have you been down there recently? I've, I haven't been down there in 20 years, okay? Can you believe that, Caramel Corn Sally? 20 years. So here's what I did, I decided I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go downtown after 20 years of not being down there. I was sort of mystified, I wanted to see what it was like, right? So I got up at 5.30 in the morning on Wednesday, Tumbleweed Willie, and uh, holy fuck, I go downtown at 5.30 in the morning, downtown LA, the sun's just slowly creeping up over the hills in Glendale, just slowly rising up through the Armenian mist. <laughs> And I go downtown, 5.30, and I'm telling you, ma'am, it was haunting, okay? Dare I say it was enchanting, ladies and gentlemen. I'm walking around, it was ghostly. I'm walking around, all I hear is this, all I hear is. I look, I see a homeless guy making wind noises. I give him $50, best blow job I've ever had. How about that? <laughs> Sir, if you could close your legs, it smells. Isn't this fun? I have a riot. How are you, ma'am? You ever wake up at three in the morning and fill your ass crack full of coleslaw? Okay, you will. It's gonna happen. If you didn't know that the Trader Joe's employees were treated so well by the management, and they got good paychecks and benefits, you would think that they're all high all day long. <laughs> You'd be like, this is drugs. You can't be sober and enjoy yourself at a grocery store like this. And you look around, you're like, there's too many man buns working here for this not to be drugs, man. These people seem high, even Joe seems high. Have you seen these products? They're weird, man. Pickle flavored popcorn. Uh, okay. <laughs> they got a uh, watermelon jerky. That doesn't even make sense, guys. A jerky's a dried meat, did you know? Not to somebody on acid, it ain't. Joe's fucked up, man. He thinks he's a traitor. A traitor? Does he know what year it is? And then all the employees are like, Joe, how should we show up to work? He's like, just wear what you wore to Cancun, dude. That's sufficient. <laughs> oh, everybody's high in there, even management. You can return half-eaten shit, they take it. I brought a half-eaten pie back. The, guy, the manager's like, what's wrong with the pie, sir? I was like, nothing, I'm full. He goes, right on, right on. And the cashiers act like they're on ecstasy. You ever gotten this much eye contact from a cashi cashier before? It's fucking creepy. Every time I'm checking out, I think she wants to sleep with me. They always ask me that question like, what do you got going on this weekend? I'm like, me? 
I'm like, look, Penelope, I just got out of a toxic relationship. I can't, <laughs> can't make it here with a Trader Joe's cashier. And then they always ask, did you find everything you were looking for today, Chris? And I was like, how about you give me a gram of whatever love drug you're on, honey? I want to turn into a pansexual today. That seems like a good way to spend the day. I go to this place called Dick's Sporting Goods, gang, and I'm gonna say it, I hope nobody here works there. Ma'am, do you work at Dick's? Okay, cause not the friendliest staff in the world at Dick's. I'm a friendly guy, I'm an affable guy, I'm a consumer, I got a little lettuce in my pocket, right? I'm over at Dick's, I walk up to the guy at Dick's, as friendly as friendly could be, I go, excuse me, sir, I'd like to buy an 18 and a half inch black dildo, please, right? <laughs> and this guy says, we don't have those here, sir. And I go, look, pal, is this or is this not dicks? Let's go, I got shit to do, all right? So now I'm all pissed off, I'm wired up, I need a drink, I head over to BJ's for a beer. <laughs> I got to the guy at BJ's, any good places to eat around here? He says, yeah, five guys. I said, what the fuck's going on? I go over to five guys, thought I was getting on a gay boat cruise for Christ's sake. I said, anywhere else around here? He's head next door, in and out. I said, what the fuck? I am not going to Fuddruckers, I'll tell you that. That sounds like it would hurt in the most priestly way. You know what I'm talking about, onion rings, Willie. 